Hey Capricorn, it's Teresa with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your message. Uh, we're going to look at what the eclipse season is going to do for your energy. What, How is it going to affect you? If I can spit it out. So what I'm getting intuitively is that you're going to have some relief from any anxiety that you've been going through. You're going to start to feel relaxed and less... Um, less about overthinking. I also feel like there's just going to attract some positivity and that's not what everyone's getting. Um, this is just specifically for your energy um, that came through right before I started the reading. So let's see. It may or may not apply to you. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Capricorn for this eclipse season? Okay, and we have Mercury, how you think, communicate, write, talk, and travel. So I definitely feel like this is communicating with more confidence. I feel like um, it's more about communication and less about thoughts overtaking you, overthinking things. It's like um, you're going to have action from your words. That's what I'm getting here. But let's go ahead and read what Mercury has to say in the book. If you have drawn this card, then the current energy is focused on the part of your personality that is represented by the planet Mercury. In astrology, Mercury represents your mind and thinking. Therefore, how you talk, write, and communicate in general is the part of you that is activated. It may be that you have to gather information so that you are more informed on a subject. And the internet or public library may be a good place to start. However, Mercury's greatest skill is in the act of dialoguing with others, so your urge to talk and listen as much as possible. Be concerned with how you speak to others and consider whether further explanation would remove the possibility of misunderstandings. Sometimes we think we have explained something clearly, but more talking can reveal crossed wires. The brain instructs the rest of the body and your thoughts are very powerful. They continue when other parts of your functioning go into repose. If you have a problem currently, you should apply your analytical skills, thinking everything through with care. What happens if you take this route or that particular path? A car or journey may even be involved since Mercury can symbolize these two. Watch out for flashes of inspiration or coincidences that seem to point in a particular direction. You may notice things now that you didn't see before since your perceptions are heightened. You should be flexible and willing to learn. Your diligence will thwart any attempts to trick you. You may be tempted into gossip or rumors, or perhaps you have discovered that someone has passed on gossip or confided a secret about you. Mercury also represents siblings, so you may find your brother or sis brothers or sisters are involved with the matter in hand. So I'm definitely getting that there is this conversation that needs to happen, and I feel like it's going to spark some type of action that before was um, maybe you were feeling a little helpless, so you were overthinking, trying to figure out, um, you know, the outcome of things. Like, well, if this happens, then... Or if I say this, then this will happen. If I do this, then this will happen. Like it gets to where no action is being taken because we're caught up in our head. So I definitely feel like that um, that intuitive message applies here. This is about making the actual conversation happen. And it's significant. It's not about, um, you know, just um, talking to hear your own voice, if that makes sense. So let's see what else comes out for Capricorn. We have you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. And we do have the new moon in Scorpio coming up right at the same time or around the same time as the first um, eclipse here. So I definitely feel like this is going to be like how you communicate is protect maybe this is a conversation about protection this is about not worrying is what i'm getting no worries and you have been maybe having anxiety and worrying um prior to this so i feel like this is being um taken off your shoulders this worry and anxiety and you're going to draw in more positive aspects as well as positive thoughts about your situation and about yourself Okay, what else do we have for Capricorn? 
and we have this one here, ground yourself. Being distracted, unfocused, tired, irritated, and impatient are all signs that you're ungrounded. Now is the time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect with the divine source. So that's also something grounding yourself really helps with anxiety because you feel that connection, that protection from the divine. So let's see how this is playing out for you. What's the past energy for Capricorn? And we have the Seven of Cups. So I feel like this is a lot of things going on, a lot of overthinking, a lot of thought-based um, options um, appearing before you, options of how things may turn out. This is about getting into your intuition and less overthinking and more about being connected to the divine and their guidance as well as your own intuition. What is the present energy? And we have the Knight of Swords. So this came up for the other readings as well. I feel like this is about being very curious. This is that conversation. I feel like they're they're bringing this to your attention because you could very easily get defensive in the situation. But this is letting you know that there's no you are safe. You're, there's no reason for you to be defensive. This is not a conversation where you're being attacked. Although the subject matter may feel as such, I think that it's from someone that that you care about and cares about your well-being you and your family and it may be someone in your family what is the future energy here and we have the oh what is this this is the page of swords yeah this is the page of swords. I feel like you're not sure what to do with something. That's what I'm getting here. I feel like this is like, um, it may be that, and I'm only getting that from this card, not what the card is, but from the picture here, it's like you have this goose and it has potential, but you don't know what to do with it. And I feel like this is almost like, um, something that you already are aware about, aware of, and it's just a matter of still trying to determine what you want to do with that. And I feel like grounding yourself is going to be um, something that um, really helps you to connect with the divine and your intuition and allows some of these scattered thoughts to be released and you will um, find the right solution, the best case scenario for whatever this goose is. I feel like the goose is representing a huge potential for either money or for, um, I'm getting something with social media here, but let's go ahead and clarify. What's the Seven of Cups about? And we have the judgment card. So I feel like this is something where it has to do with your life purpose. There's something major that you're being, you may be rejoining family, um, reconciling, reconciling a relationship of some sort. This could be with your significant other, just coming into union. I feel like this is also um, having those discussions about the past and being able to um, express yourself clearly so that you can put to rest and heal some um, maybe issues from the past. So what's this Knight of Swords about? And we have the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like the conversation is about equal give and take, reciprocity. Um, there's definitely like one person that seems to be making sure that the others are taken care of. And I feel like that is you. And I feel like that's where you're going to be saying that you want equal, you know, that you want to be taken care of as well. So um, it's not all about what you can do for the family or for your significant other. It's about what what you can do for each other, that you're there on the same team. That's what I'm getting here. And I feel like there may be someone that's going to be extremely generous with you. Understand that you are not bound to um, 
this is like, it's like they're all in prison here. And I feel like um, it's understanding that you can break free of any chains and still remain in the same place, environment. But this um, feeling so bound to it is going to, um, you're going to let go of that. There's not going to be, there's going to be more positive energy coming towards you where you feel that you want to be a part of this situation, this family, this relationship. All right. So why is this page of swords here? And we have the queen of swords. So lots of mercury energy here. I feel like this is you really coming out on top and be getting very focused about where you're trying to take things, especially this winter. This is very wintry picture here. So I feel like you have the wisdom and you're going to be able to carry that through um, the winter for whatever this goose is. And I feel like um, you're going to be very focused and energetic towards what you are trying to manifest. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. So I feel like this is letting go and healing things of regret, guilt, pain from the past, maybe grieving, um, finally getting, giving yourself the opportunity to grieve over something or apologize or forgive. And this could be forgiving yourself or forgiving another um, or both. All right, so that is what came through. We're going to get some guidance from the Lenormand deck. So let's pull some Lenormand to get some guidance here for Capricorn. And we have the bear. So yeah, this is about, like I said, the winter. I mean, this isn't what the card always represents, but I definitely feel like you're preparing for winter. You're making... Okay, that just suddenly moved for no apparent reason and now it doesn't want to go back. That is so weird. Okay, it's fine. The bear prepares, but the bear is is a leader. The bear is also about finances, about stacking up funds and being prepared. So um, I'm getting a little bit of mama bear vibes, but I'm also getting that, you know, there's a lot of burden placed on the bear and this can um, cause some bitterness. This can cause some... Um, feeling like everything is on your shoulders. So um, let's see what else comes out. And we have the anchor. So the anchor can feel stuck, but this is also a stable place where you feel like um, all your needs are met and it's a good place to stop and be. Um, there's also, you know, like I said, sometimes when we are in... Um, in very stable situations, we can start to dream up things like that we're stuck and that we can't get out of the situation, even though it was somewhere that we had been, it was part of our goals to stabilize our environment, stabilize our finances, stabilize our resources. So I feel like it's all about your perception is you can feel stuck because you've been in one place for too long, but it's also about, um, being grateful and appreciative to the divine for providing such a stable and stable environment for you. All right, let's get one more. And we have the snake here. So the snake can represent a lot of different things. Um, but one of the things that it represents is obviously some type of betrayal, but it's also about health and, um, I feel like it can be conversations that bite life parts that sting. Um, but it's also about drawing into you what you desire. I feel like this can be a good thing. So this is about watching your back, but also um, being open to receiving what you've been trying to manifest. So those are the messages that came through for you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.